Hi, it's Mr. Colley, and in this video we're going to start to investigate the random function and why it's really, really useful for computer programs. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to recreate a program that when you shake your micro bit, gives you, displays one of three random images. So we've used the image um, tutorial before, um, and we're going to use that basically again. So I'm going to create my code here. And again, we're going to use the block editor this time and a new project. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image, just like I did the last time. So we'll do the first one with you as a reminder. First image I'm going to create is a heart. So I'll use variables and I will set item like so. Again, let's zoom out a bit. Not that much. There we go. Try and get my zoom right drop down and change the name of it so this one's going to be called heart like so okay so set heart to and choose images create image we'll click that on and we'll just tick the ticks for a heart like so now i'm just going to pause this video and create another two images um, you do the same and i'll see you in a second so I've created my three images here, and now that I've done that, we want to start using a random function um, in our program to create a random number. Now random is really important in computer games, because if not, your game gets really predictable really quickly with the same thing happening in the same way all the time. What I haven't done here is just renamed my script, so I'll just do that. Random images, there we go. Um, and I'm going to go to for my random, I think it's logic, no, maths, there we go, maths, and I'm going to do my pick random, 0, 2, and I'm going to do 0 to 2, because if you start counting from 0, 0, 1, 2, that gives you three options, and I've got three images there, so 0 to 2. Pick random 0 to 2. You'll have to excuse my scrolling in and out on this mouse. It's, an, it's a Mac mouse and it's unbelievably sensitive. Um, pick random 0 to 2. So I'm picking my random number. The next thing I want to do is I want to make my random number have something to do with um, which image it displays. So I'm going to use some logic. And for logic, I'm going to use an if. Now. In fact, I've forgotten a vital part of that. You'll notice that when I created each of these images, I saved it, I attached a label, a variable label, with a name to each one. I need to do the same when I'm picking my random number. So I need a new variable to save that number into. So I'm going to choose set item to, and I'm going to attach it to there, like that. Set item to pick a random number. I'm going to change the name of that, new variable, and I'm going to call it random num. There we go. So it will pick a random number between 0 and 2 and it will save it in this variable called random num. Now I've got an if here and I can do something quite cunning now. I can say if the random number picked is 0, show the image heart. So if, and then I've got to have a check here to see if this random number picked has been 0. So that is in my logic, and I've got an equals block there. So I'll take that and I'll click it on, just zoom in. And what I can do now with my if, is if I can say, if, take my variables, if random number picked, because this is first in the code, it will happen first, it'll pick the random number. If the random number picked is equal to zero, and then I go to my images, show image, and I go to my variables, and I want to show the image heart there. So let me just detach this bit. First, pick a random number between 0 and 2, and save it in the random number variable. Then, look at that random number variable. If the number we've just saved in it was 0, show the image heart. What I can do now, quite cunningly, is I can right-click this if, 
and I can choose duplicate. So I've got another one there. Now, if the random number picked, let's say it was one, I want to show the image, I don't know, smile. You can put these in any order, but smile, like so. So if it's picked zero as its random number, show heart. If it's picked one as its random number, show smile. And I'm sure you can figure out the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that in there and drop that in there. In fact, let's just duplicate that again. If the random number picked is two, show image star. There we go. Right, so let's run it and see what happens. Because it should pick a random number and then display the image. So run it. There we go. So it must have picked number one. <coughs> because it's shown the smile. In fact, we can test this. As a computer scientist, we can test it. After it's picked the random number, I can get the micro bit to show me the number. And I can do that with basic show number and then take the net variable name random null. There we go. So it's going to pick the random number and then it's going to show which one it's picked. Then it's going to show the image that we relate to it. So let's run that. You know, it's picked zero, so it's the heart. If I run it again, it's picked two, so it's the star. Pick two again, so it shows the star. So I can see it's picking the number and showing the right picture. So that's a nice little test. We've got one last thing we're going to do, and that is we're going to combine it with what we learned about input a few videos ago. So we're going to make this happen, our new picture, on a shake. There's my own shake. I'm going to drag that if I can. My zoom is really annoying me, but on shake and I I'm going to put all my pick random number code and show the picture code inside my shake. So now if I run it, nothing will happen until, and you can't really shake this about, but you can press the artificial shake button, it picked a random number, zero, and it showed the heart. Let's artificially, let's virtually shake it again, it's picked zero again on the heart, one, smiley, two, star and so on and so on. So that's how to use random to add a bit of variety to your program to show different images. If you have more images in here then you just change it from 0 to 3, 0 to 4, 0 to 5 depending on how many images you've got and you put more ifs in. There you go, off you go and have a go.